Hey everybody, Master Pija here again. I hope you guys are tuned into the right channel at the right time. This is, uh, yeah, me. What's up, guys? Playing Final Fantasy VI. Hope you guys uh, had a great day or a great week or whatever time span it's been since I recorded the last video. I don't know. My memory's really not that good. Um, unless we're talking about Force of Will, I pretty much know everything about Force of Will. And if you don't listen to me about how you play Force of Will, then, uh,. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm talking about Force of Will. Last time, guys, we were facing that crazy, slightly different colored blue turban mountain man who totally butchered Pookies, uh, Moogle Demon Army team. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a sip of my tasty, tasty Arizona green tea. And we can get right into potentially not sucking as bad as last time. Alright. So, let's, uh,. Switch over to my other demon Moogle army. Okay, we got this. We got this this time. We killed his dog. Let's go take out the master. Boom. Let's go, buddy. Oh shit, his dogs are back. Okay, I um, wasn't expecting that. Cool if these guys did something other than like attack with swords and stuff, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, okay, I really don't like that charge attack. Oh, have you guys ever heard like the metal version of this uh, this battle theme? It's actually so badass. Oh, I'm gonna have to see if I can like find the, the like copyrights to a metal version of the song. You just like see if I can. Put it over one of the episodes and be like, bah, 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 bah. Time to battle! But of course, only with Loki in the team, right? Oh, nice. The blood of our enemies taught us a new dance. That's pretty bloody metal. Cool, you got this, Loki. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, just picking up a chick and running away. That's cool. Who needs magic tech armor when you've got literally the most jacked metal screamer singer of all time? This switch. Boom. I love how he knows that. Like, I get it, he's a treasure hunter, but is this his- is this his cave? Hey, you're back with us now. You saved me! Save your thanks for the Dark Lord Moogles. Uh, I can't remember a thing. It's like... My mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory. That's pretty metal. I wish I could forget my entire existence. The man said he would come back eventually. So, you've got amnesia. Oh man, I gotta turn this into a band. Don't worry. I won't leave your side until your memory returns. <laughs> I'm not gonna up and abandon somebody just because they've lost their memory. You can count on it. I will never give you up. I will never let you down. I will never go around and desert you. I'll keep you safe. Oh god, I can't keep this up. I just can't. Ugh. I feel like I'm gargling rusty nails. Okay, like any good rebel, let's GTFO. 
And by that I mean literally just go back into the town we were just in. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I'm something about being a noob. No. No, 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 no. Do that. Hey, hey, you guys! Is that. Hey! You guys! It's not safe here. We'd better hightail it to South Picaro. Okay, cool. Balesky. And here is our beautiful overworld map. Honestly, the only thing I didn't really like particularly about the overworld map is just how flat it was. Like, I get it, it came out for the Super Nintendo, but like... Oh god, I want a 3D version of this game so bad. And it's not so bad now because the the sprites are still fairly two-dimensional. But when we get into the game where we're actually riding a chocobo, it looks so bad. By the way, don't be fooled by the, the goofy name. Leaf bunnies have been known to rip a man from mouth to anus in one bite. The brutal man. They're brutal. Darkwing though? Darkwing are a bunch of pansies. Don't worry about them. Look at that. One hit dead. You never really kill a leaf bunny. A leaf bunny just becomes more evil. Actually, one of the first bosses we're going to face a little bit later on is just a reincarnated leaf bunny. You'll see him. He's this big, creepy demon octopus thing. Pfft, dark wing. Dark wind, sorry, not dark wing. So, have you guys been watching uh, Dorian J's? Uh, live streams like the ones he's been doing with um, I think right now he's doing the whole Tall Tale Games series he's doing Batman I think he's got the first two episodes I don't know if he's got more up by this point of, of Batman I'm, I don't keep track of everything he's doing I think I tuned in for the, the first two for sure um, and I think he just recently bought the entire season of what was it? The Walking Dead, and he's looking for Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf? Cry Wolf? Call Me Wolf Daddy? Wolf and the Wolf Boys? I can't remember the name of the game, but you guys can look at it. It has the word Wolf in it, it's Telltale Games. So, yeah. Good enough for that. He's, he's really good. Dorian, Dorian's the kind of guy that really shines when he's doing solo, especially when he's got input from, uh, from the viewers through, like, the... The talking and stuff. Anyway, I said I was gonna leave grinding for, for off camera, and here I go. Old habits die hard. Let's keep these, these sandy rays out of here. We go straight for South Figaro. You guys have to admit though, these backgrounds are magnificent. My tip of the hat to the to the graphic artist who designed that. Oh, come on. I sure hope South Figaro has a nice little inn I can stay at. That's for Steve Irwin, you bastards. Fucking stingrays. That man was a national treasure! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Man, such tight security here in Pagago. Ooh, stairs. Well, hey, look, it's a prison! These good-for-nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery and worse. You'd best keep a safe distance. Don't talk to me like that pig! If I can... no. 
This chair. Ah. Ah. Ooh, stairs. Oh, well, hey, old man. What have you got to say? The Figaro Castle engine room is down those stairs. Those engines are currently undergoing maintenance, so we can be ready to move at a moment's notice if the need arises. Thanks, old man. I'm gonna... Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I can't let you go down there. It's too dangerous. You know, in all fairness, if it's a room that's got an engine large enough to move an entire castle underground, it probably is too dangerous for uh, King of the Death Metal and his female green-haired teenage groupie. Go and speak to the king. Well, thanks, game. That's not on the nose at all. Oh, look, go and speak to the king. Do, 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 do. What about there's sand all over this castle, man? They really need to keep this place cleaner. Oh, wait. Ooh, stairs. Hey, a chest. Nice. I'm gonna need a bunch of those. Early game, I always just burn through so many Phoenix Downs. Hmm. Ooh, stairs. If you jump from here, you'll be dead before you hit the ground. Okay. King of Figaro. What voice should I do for the king? Maybe I should do like a really pretty boy, like English voice, like rich boy. You mean this young woman is? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. Ooh, so fancy. Hmm. What should his name be? Definitely not Edgar. Hmm. Okay, let's call him Bravo. Let's call him J Bravo. Hmm, where's J at? Space. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at the alphabet. Bravo. Oh, they don't give me enough room! No! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to be just Bravo. No. No, we'll call him... Hmm... Oh my god, we're gonna call him Andy. Oh my god, I'm gonna call him Andy. For anybody who hasn't seen... Um... Uh, space Cowboy Anime, Space Cowboy Anime, Space Cowboy Anime. Um, 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 um. Cowboy Bebop. If you haven't seen Cowboy Bebop, literally just stop this video right now. Stop this video right now and go watch all 26 or so episodes. And then you'll understand this. You'll understand this perfectly. Yes, you will. Oh my god, I'm doing Andy's voice from now on. Okay, perfect. I am Andy, little... I'm Andy, little lady. The King of Figaro. <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king. Well, what's a king to a god? <laughs> well, I'll catch you two later. I'm gonna go write a ballad of death. So you're an imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like, little lady. It's not in my blood to harm a lady, little lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my... 
abilities. I'll give you three reasons. First of all, because I'm beautiful and I'm captivating. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm my type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. What's the matter, big boy? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty there, little lady. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. It's a good thing my hair is green and I'm dead inside. But not me. Because I'm dead inside and all. Something gonna happen? Oh right, I can move now. <laughs> you never really tell when these cutscenes are over. Oh thanks, I can wander around the castle. Uh, last time I checked, you're not the fucking boss of me, dude in a red and green outfit! Okay, I've had enough of this, this, this shit. Hey, a door. Oh, hey, a dude. Hmm. Hmm. I think that helped me at all. But I am gonna steal this dude's potion and antidote. Thanks, bruh. Hmm. What do we have behind door number two? Oh, another chest. Thanks, old dude. Oh, okay, this is where the money's at. Potions, super important in the beginning of the game. And, uh, if you're absolutely crazy like I am, make sure you buy even increments. Because. Earth no mania, that's why. <laughs> also, don't bother spending any of your money on, like, as I just spent my money on some equipment. Don't buy equipment early on in Final Fantasy games. You'll always find better stuff in the, the dungeons pretty much right after you buy it. And then it's just a waste of time. But, uh, you know what? What do I know? I'm just the master of Force of Will. I'm not the master of Final Fantasy. Speaking of which, for anybody who's part of my, like, Force of Will uh, video... Was there a dude here? Just disappear? Oh, that's creepy. Uh, any of my Force of Will viewers, um, have you guys been getting into Echoes? Echoes of the New World, the new set? Pretty good. Pretty good. There's a lot of really like janky cards in there, and I really hate using that word, but there's no other word I could use. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. Well, if you show me yours, I'll show you mine. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were called magi. What do you guys think is the actual mechanism behind the Figaro Castle here? Like, is it on rails or something? Does it have like fins underground? This Figazo, Figazo, Figazo sounds cooler than Figaro. Hey, a bedroom. Neat. Oh, here's a tower. The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. Nice, but why? South Figaro like really weak, and they need technology and stuff. Or are they just too lazy to make their own? Pretty much right now we're just killing time until Kafka gets here and the entire game just goes loopsy doopsy upsy daisy. And by that I mean it just gets wonkers. I just like making up words. Hmm. What's behind door number four? Rest for a bit? Well that'd be just swell. Gives me a second to sip my... Delicious, delicious drink. Ah, so good. You guys know if they sell, like, Arizona in, like, four liter jugs in the States? That's nuts. Oh, you have no prettier plane. No one is safe. Wow, dude sounds kind of like a rapist. Hmm. 
<laughs> Ron Terra, you don't want nothing to do with that 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 Bravo boy. He's a he's a bad cookie. Hmm. Halt. Oh, it's you. Proceed. Dude, this guy sucks at his job. What if it wasn't me, dude? What if it was somebody entirely different? Okay, so, like, what am I doing here? Hmm. Seriously, what the hell am I doing? Oh, wait, maybe it's... Yeah. No. Okay, I guess it's not the castle engine room. Oh, okay, it was the prison cell. Okay. What's up? That's cool. What if I was to have a jailbreak? Something smells terrible in here. Oh, I think it's me. Gross. No shower, bruh. I demand to see Andy. Oh, dude, it's not Bravo, it's Andy. <laughs> right. How dare they keep us in this stinking pit. I'm Lone Wolf, the pickpocket. Relax. My boys are just blowing off some steam. I'm sure King Andy will let us out of here in no time. We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat lurking out there. King Andy knows that. Well, come on, man. You, know, you gotta have a positive attitude. You can be big potatoes one day. Just gotta believe in the power of potato. Hmm. Think I've been everywhere? I think. Okay, there's not here. It might be in the top tower. Let's get a look there. Where are you at, Andy? Huh, okay. I'll probably just have to leave the castle. Let's get out of here! For Steve Irwin! Oh damn, these dudes are strong. Kinda kicking my ass. Damn, dude, chill out. <laughs> Ain't so tough. Oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Boom. GG, Stingry. GG. Huh. Is there somewhere I'm supposed to go? Hmm. I honestly can't remember. This is actually really embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, so... This way... Down... And this way... And there's probably a little side tower. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is the part I haven't been to yet. Okay, here we go. Andy has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Oh, the coin 
fucking song. This gets me every single time. Andy, what's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind, buckaroo? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Andy! Are you crying? Andy's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Okay, so just as a bit of backstory, this dude is really buff. And that's his entire character. So, um, this character is going to be Nova. Because Nova is our lovable meathead. He's a big old bufferoni. Ah, yes. Nova. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now, and what he's doing. Hmm, I wonder if he's a character. And by that I mean, I wonder if we get to play with him later. I mean... Giggity. <laughs> his Highness said he'd marry me when I was... when I got old enough. Gross, Andy, gross. We cut the line, my friend, we cut the line. Hmm, I'm getting the impression there's a subplot with an evil empire here. But I could be wrong. King's brother was so disgusted by the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've heard tell that the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. Ah, oh, the coin song, man. Okay, here we go. Well, how do you like my castle, little lady? There's someone from the Empire here to see you, sire. Gafka, no doubt. Oh, that dude's a bit of a dinkaroni. Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Phooey! Emperor Castell's stupid orders! Andy, you pinhead, why do you have to live in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. Ahem, there's sand on my boots. All gone. Sir! Oh, I love that laugh. <laughs> Actually, apparently that's the first voice acting I did finger finger air quotes, you guys can't see them, but they are happening, um, in Final Fantasy, so I think that's pretty cool. How pathetic. Oh my god, I just love this dude so much. Sir, Kefka, one of the world brings you out of my way. In all fairness, that dude really, really sucks at his job. Oh shit, I'm playing as uh, Andy. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. Totally forgot to voice him. <laughs> an alliance with the miserable little sand pits? Don't make me laugh. I heard you've been busy down south, taking over our country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. 
brings Emperor Gastel's own court mage Kefka to my humble castle there, buckaroo. A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Yeah. This would have to do with that. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Andy. You sh... Losing my train of thought here. You know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. <laughs> I truly hope that nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Oh, uh, so we're boned. Um, when that dude makes empty threats, he follows up that empty threat with ridiculous and overbearing force and violence. So, uh, we need to bail. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to stay in chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now, little lady. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. So, uh... Where's my room? <laughs> I don't think I want to sleep in prison. Lone Wolf seems like a nice bedfellow, but, uh... The other guys apparently stink. Hmm. Okay, so it's not there. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. You lead the way, Loki! Dude, where does everyone else sleep if, like, bedrooms are entire towers? Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like a corpse without giving you a chance to rest. Loki, right? Andy told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I am a treasure hunter! On the surface. And he protects to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as the go between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire? But I'm an Imperial soldier. Just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do in the time. Oh my god! <coughs> <coughs> I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry, Loki. You've actually destroyed my throat. You've you've just ravished my throat, Loki. I just can't handle you, Loki. You've destroyed my throat. Giggity. But how will I know which choices is right? Which choices is right? Well, you won't really have to make too many choices because uh, right about, we're about to get wrecked here. Oh 
Oh my goodness. This stone castle in the middle of a desert is on fire. It's the Empire. Kefka. He... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl now. I have no idea what you're talking about there, clown. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue! <laughs> um... Alrighty, cool. I'm gonna go, uh... Oh, I can't. Okay, cool. Guess I'll go into, uh, this way. Had a change of heart, have we? It seems I have no choice. Bayo! Oh, the old bamboozler. Brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful! Oh god, I wish I could put in the, the Andy theme music over this part. Alright. Sink her into the sand there, buckaroo. Yahoo! This thing's diving like a submarine, going down like a clown. Oh, hey, a clown. <laughs> Go kill them! Oh, dude, magic armor. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good thing I got that phoenix down. Hmm. Okay, let's go... Fire. What's the matter, Andy? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? Da, 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 did you just see what I saw there, Buckaroo? You did, right? Right? <clears throat> Actually, let me clear my throat. Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something. That was magic. Ma-jack. Oh my god, I can't believe they're actually doing this in the middle of a battle. Also, what the hell? Why do the sprites for the Magitek soldiers look so much cooler when they're facing you, not when they're on your team? I'm sorry, I... No, you shouldn't be apologizing. We should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. It's okay. It's completely normal. It happens to all women. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Andy? Terra can use magic, and we can't. That's all there is to it. That sounds like privilege to me. Thank you, Loki. Thank you, Andy. Did you just wink at us? <laughs> and they just sank into the dirt. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's do Bio Blaster. Nice. Oh damn. 
That was awesome. Nice. Two high potions. And uh, two dead comrades. Bravo Figaro. Son of a sandworm, you'll pay for this! For members of the Returners, would we be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic. There's magic in the air. I don't know anymore. And you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with powers you have. Bannon Please, Andy's right. Oh, pff, no, that's Loki's voice. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Look at this. They turned the sprite in like... It's still a two-dimensional sprite, but it's like... They made it somehow three-dimensional, and then they angled the plane on which you're like walking the overworld map without making it three-dimensional. And it looks really weird. Oh, I just did a choke about... Well, I guess now I'm gonna waste away in the middle of the desert. Um, okay, you know what? I think this is a good place to cut it off. I don't even know how long this video is, but me goofing around in the Figaro castle for so long and not being able to find out what to do next and, and losing my voice with Loki's ridiculous metal voice. Um, yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode. Not too much happened. I'm gonna make sure that I grind a bit before I start recording the third episode just because, um, I mean I'm not super under level but the fact that I had somebody die in a battle against two Magitek soldier like, dudes, is like super bad because they're really not that difficult to kill, especially with, um, I guess, Andy, not Edgar, on my team, and uh, Loki as well. So, I hope you guys like this episode. I'll see you next time, and, uh, you know, remember to, remember to love each other.